Welcome to the channel everyone, my name is Ryan and we are playing Strange Horticulture and the kitty cat is still asleep. Uh, we have another customer here, we're kind of in the middle of a day, but um, we did figure out Arda's destruction. She was murdered, poisoned in fact, and we got a couple plants out of the deal. So let's go ahead and see what we can do for the next person. Oh, it's Ruth Douglas. Hello, Ruth. Uh, there is a beautiful plant that I've been looking for all over, but nobody seems to have. M, M something. Monkey brew? I'm not sure. I do know that you shouldn't touch the leaves, though. Okay. It's called question marks. Let's see here. Monkey brew. Let's see if that's helpful to us at all. M something. M Meek do? Me well, that rhymes with monkey. Mellow glow? So what did she call it? Monkey brew. Or no, monk brew. Um, meek do. I bet you it's meek do. Mellow glow. Because meek do rhymes with monk brew. We, yeah, okay, okay. Is that it? Uh, no, that's not it. Uh, the beautiful flower makes up... Made up of many smaller florets, make this a sought-after decorative plant. Although it is difficult to care for, this is definitely it. It may be a pleasant-looking plant, but touching the leaves against the bare skin will result in painful sores. The meek do. All right, let's find it. Is this it? No, it said the beautiful flower made up of many smaller florets. That reminds me of this one right here. Oh, yes. That's the one, baby. Let's give it to her. Wait, what does it say? Small leaves. Delicate. Okay. Uh, yeah, the meek do. Identified. All right. Well, the day is over. Let's close everything up. Everything's put away. We've got our meek do right here. Let's move it over to the side. Actually, I can squeeze it in right up there. It's looking good. Our collection. I like the way the... Uh, Things dangle, but then when you hover... Yeah, really nice. Really nice looking. Okay, let's end the day. That should eliminate the notes that we've already, like, discovered and stuff. Okay. Oh, look, this one's... Oh, time passed. A year, and then another. The book remained hidden, but out of sight did not mean out of mind. The book was what her thoughts settled on when she rested. What she brooded over when she did her chores... What she pictured when she dreamed. What is that? Where is that? Do I keep it? Wait, did we even solve the other card? Yeah, we did. Alright, so... Let's open our drawer. Handy dandy little drawer. Let's see, what do we got here? So we've got this, and this thing we had like from day one. So I don't know what this is about. Cold is too much. Okay, the Great Gable we need... I can't remember the description of the plant that we needed, but we'll have to go back there at a slightly later stage. No big deal. Let's uh, think about this one here. Is it possible to put this away? Oh. Um, hmm. Yeah, I really don't know if we can figure this out at all without the corners, so we might just need to save it and just go. I just see Reuben. Hey, Reuben. The fox button was no help, I'm afraid. The sisterhood still refused to speak with me openly. Not that I have time to pursue it properly. I'm rushed off my feet this week. There, there's been a body found up at the Swinside Stone Circle, and apparently it's a grisly one. Don't suppose you have anything to help keep my lunch down. My stomach's never coped too well with the grizzly ones. Fennet. Oh, okay. Fennet it will be, sir. Trusty encyclopedia. We must go to the P section. Ah, uh, Fennet. Chewing the tough root of this plant is said to ease gastric distress and reduce anxiety. Oh, it has long, soft leaves. Okay. Um, no. Hold on, we got a few spread out. Is it? No, that's not it. It's kind of nice, though, because our known plants... Is this it? And our unknown plants are getting about equal. Um, now, this is so far the best candidate, but I don't... What does it say, Darth? It smells like sweet rhubarb. <gasps> Actually, you know what? 
that's it. I bet you this is it. Fennet. Fennel. Fennel rhubarb? No, that's not right. <laughs> I'm thinking of anise. Okay, so let's keep looking. Um, the flowers smell wonderful. It has long, soft leaves. Long, flat leaves. Oh, what about this one? The leaves are quite soft. Pale yellow. That looks more promising. I think this might be it. Let's try it. Uh, I w oh, look, our rising dread went away after we slept, I guess. That's good to know. Yes. Nailed it. All right, let's get our book entry. Which fig? Oh, which fig? That was a fig. Oh, okay. All right, Fennet is now known and part of our wonderful collection over here. Sit there, please, Fennet. Sit quietly. All right, put our tickets away. Let's go. Hello, Mr. Mailman. Morning. Uh, Verona Green handed me this for you. She seemed to be in a good mood. Oh, a letter. Sealed. Let's see here. Um, I meant to tell you this yesterday, but it slipped my mind. I discovered a plant on the recent trip to Grizzledale Forest, just northeast of Rushland. It was like nothing I've seen before. I would have brought it back with me if the sisterhood had given me a moment alone, but they seem overly protective lately. All right, so we've got enough. Let's close the book. Put that away for a second. Now... I discovered a plant recent trip, Grizzledale, northeast of Rusland. Okay, let's go check that out on the map. Okay, so we know Grizzledale Forest is right here, north uh, east of Rusland. Rusland's right here, so northeast would be this section. Let's go. From the moment I stepped off the road, I can't shake the feeling I'm being watched. Suddenly, I find my way blocked by three women wearing green cloaks and holding short elm bows. Nobody may wander freely throughout the forest. By our order of the Arda, says the leader of the trio, I turn to walk back. But then again, I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Mellow Glow. Let's identify that baby. I always hit the wrong button. All right. Um, got a lot of stuff out, but let's just keep piling the books. Okay, who, what was it? Mellow Glow. Um, next page, please. There it is. Ooh, we got a lot identified. Among other uses for this plant, the most remarkable is that it can allow a person to pass unnoticed. Though not invisible, it is possible to become hidden from sight and memory. The Mellow Glow has a sharp thorn to protect it from predators. Well, in this situation, we're the predator. Hold on. Hold your horses. Turquoise sharp thorns sounds promising. These planets the most remarkable. Uh, that looks like it probably. I don't really see thorns on anything else. Do you guys? Nope. I see warts on the mushroom, but that's it. All right, let's give it a go. Gorgeous. Plant identified. Oh, and we're gonna get a new plant out of this also. All right, let's do first things first. Okay, there's Mellow Glow right there at the end. Getting a good collection. We got to sort out these hooligans. Uh, let's collect our new one, too. Oh, what a lovely plant. Look at that. Delicious looking berries. We should eat those right away. Uh, okay, so we've got this checked off. That'll disappear tomorrow. I don't know about this one. I'm thinking we're not ready for that. I just pulled it out because we don't have a spot. Or uh, Yeah, whatever. Let's just go. Faye Swift, what do you got? I am afraid. The camphor you gave me is helping me sleep, but I am very grateful for and I am very grateful for it, but the visions are as strong as ever. The woman in the jade mask appears in my dreams every night. She screams at me, but I do not know why, and behind her that presence is always there, dark and dreadful. I don't know what to do. The dreams feel like a warning that I don't understand, a mosaic of color that refuses to come into focus. Some part of me wants to stare down that abyss, but I am afraid. Oh, so we can do Aguera or Candlewood. Where's my book? 
Let's see, I don't feel... Oh, we've got a Guerra. We got an entry for... Oh! Hold your horses just off that look, I feel like. No. Hmm. Well, it does say not to go just off looks alone, so let's read it. When burned, incense made from the woody stem can enhance psychic abilities, strengthening the clarity of visions and prophecies. Light blue flowers, like rounded tufts of gentle lamb's wool, characterize this plant. Uh, we might not have this one, actually. All right, let's go back to the contents and look up candlewood, then. A rare plant that is believed to help the dead find peace in the afterlife. Oh, this is probably what she wants. Those who can afford it place wreaths made from it at the graves of their loved ones. Cabela flowers almost always contain... Wait, oh crap, I'm reading the wrong entry. Produces a flower... <laughs> Dang it. Produces a flower that uh, provides a shielding effect, protecting against all manner of afflictions of the mind. Okay, okay. This makes sense, too. Long, thin stems grow among tall leaves. What is this a picture of? Long, thin stems grow among tall leaves. Ah, oh, tell me we have... This? Hmm. Produces a red flower that provides a shielding. Bright red flowers grow at the end of thin stems. Long, thin stems. I don't know what this is, though. I mean, the picture is supposed to not matter. Yes! Candlewood. Okay. Whew, that was, that was just by the skin of my teeth right there. Borderline guess. I'm going to be honest. That was a borderline guess. Oh, this is our archive. I just noticed. Anyway, let me get this thing labeled. Okay, I got to make sure I didn't label it Kabalia. And no, Candlewood. Okay, it is Candlewood. We now know Candlewood. Ding, ding, ding. Let's go. Let's get this party moving i got plants to identify i wouldn't put it up there we don't come from uh, to under mere often but i heard about your shop and i said to francis we simply must pay a visit it's a wonderful breath of life in an otherwise dreary town i'm the green-fingered one and it's not really his cup of tea but i persuaded him this trip would do him good and besides he'll be wanting to take care of a boat on the lake okay Shame about this awful weather, though. You must come to Zizberg. Uh, we have a small library with some books on plants that my grandfather acquired many years ago. Okay, Zizberg. We'll do that. You know, what about that one lady? Shoot, I forgot to go collect the plants she wanted me to get, didn't I? Uh, I'm sure they will be of interest to a holder horticulture such as yourself. Hello. Beautiful. I love that lady. All right, we'll put that there. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Hold on, let's go to bios. Who was it? It was her. Simone. Always a pleasure. Did we... No, we didn't do this, did we? Grayson's Hermology grows in abundance on red pike. Red pike. Here, take this. We can't do that, because she was going to come back. Day after, or whatever. All right, let's just go. We've got the will to explore. Red pike. Let me find this. Okay, we have located Red Pike up here in the mountains. Let's go. Ah, I enjoy a pleasant stroll up the fell. The going is easy, the weather agreeable, and the views majestic. I do not have to look hard to find what I am after. Collect. That's nice. Thanks for the sweet tip. Okay, that's a promising one. Let's examine that baby. Oh, yeah, very nice. All right, close her up. I always hit the wrong button. But that way, ring the bell. So this just, yeah, fills up over time. Hello, mushroom, red spores, moves in the dark. <laughs> what? Uh, that's all I've got. Any ideas? You know what? We did, I think, have something that said something about moving in the dark. Not that one. I thought it was the one we already identified, though. Warts protrude. Hold on, yeah, the wandering blue a uh, boo. Is would this be the first one that we've actually already got? Uh so called because the fungus can move slowly in the dark. That's the wandering boo he wants. Yeah, buddy, we already knew it. But that's alright, quick and easy. So that was literally the first time I've ever used a plant that I've already identified, so 
it's good to know it will happen occasionally you know nice easy one ring the bell oh sorry kit scared her uh they're saying black comb is haunted now Bradley Miller told me he saw the ghost of a huge deer, antlers and all. But then Bradley Miller also says he can talk to squirrels. Either way, there's something evil in them hills, and I'm not taking any chances. Awful what happened to that poor young man up in Swinside. I've come for some stinking mountain camp. Well, she's full of gossip. So, they're saying Blackcomb and Swinside? Jeez, she's hitting me with all kinds of info. All right, let's take care of her needs for her sun cat. Sun, what is it? Sunset Mountain Cap. Let's find it. Hmm. Lady, you're out of luck. Well, guess what? We'll have to probably go to one of what one of these locations, I guess. Hold on, what is she even up to? She's trying to get me out of my store so she can hang out here or something. So, they say it's haunted, Brother Miller. Either way, there's something evil in them hills. I'm not taking... Stinking Mountain Cap. Okay. Um, wait, I wonder... Well, that's not helpful. I wonder if the hint would tell me... What to do. I'd like to figure it out on my own. Let's see we can travel i feel like i should go to the one of the places she's mentioned you know let's try that first before we start to hit up some of those other spots again hmm. this is a stumper all right we'll just go for the first one black comb is haunted now let's check out for black comb okay so black comb is all the way down here bottom left looks like another mountainous area Oh, I see a pit full of skulls, some deer, fox, badger, and some human. I wish I had not come. Oh, you're kidding me. Dang it. Okay, well, that wasn't it. Uh, swin side. Awful. Swin side. Well, we're going to have to water some plants here then. Not a big deal. But she's going to be waiting all day for whatever she needs. Okay, well, Swinside, Stone Circle, this is probably another dead end, or at least not what she wants, but I'm just going there. I shudder at the thought of what happened here. If these stones could tell us what they saw, a chill comes over me, and I realize that I do not want to linger. Dang it, this woman. Alright, so, I don't know where to get the Sunset Mountain Cap, but now I'm starting to realize we should probably try one of these other places. So, I mean, that just means more watering, basically. Again, I don't mind. She's going to be here a while, but she wants the mountain cap that bad. All right. Well, I have decided to try the Great Gable again here because I remember getting this flower after we initially tried and failed here. Well, we didn't really try this. I just left, but I think we're going to give this one a shot. It's not specific, but it says... This one does produce yellow flowers in the right conditions. The leaves are waxy and tough. This one just says no flowers, sparse leaves. But they look very similar. I know we're not supposed to go off looks, but man, oh man, I don't have any other options unless we just wanted to go over here to visit the Lord and Lady, which we'll probably do if this fails and I don't necessarily die of hypothermia. So let's use it. Let's go, guys. No. Tell me it's not over. Oh, a shiver travels down my spine. My mind is broken. Oh no. What's happened? Oh, I'm realizing it's a mini game. Oh, I just gotta build the pieces here. It's a little puzzle. Okay. Okay, down to just a couple of pieces left here. I feel like that one goes right there. Snaps together pretty well, but I feel like something's missing here. Hmm, there we go. It's still not perfect, though, which is weird. Can I take the whole thing out? Huh, not quite right, is it? Something's not perfect. Okay, I got it now. I think it's just, it was out of order. 
There we go. I feel revived. My mind is whole again. Whoo, I was about to lose my mind. Well, we unlocked an achievement, so I guess that means that, you know, this was kind of meant to happen. That's what it was. I was just testing the systems, you know, getting a feel for what happens when I die. Because, yeah. Let's see. Oh, we got another one. Explorer. Well, guys, we have failed to... Let's leave. Let's not try that. Let's. We failed to climb the mountain, but we have discovered quite a lot today. So I feel pretty good so far about the playthrough. I wonder how you guys feel. Let me know down in the comment section. Also, hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so yet. I appreciate everybody watching, and I will see you on the next episode.